very good. Can you clap? Let's clap your hands. I was thinking that this morning too. You have to have me. Look, look how that peels. Show, show the camera how it peels. It just comes right With off. With two fingers. Isn't that wonderful? And it's done. Oh, oh there's Jenny. She loves Isn't the that camera. Wonderful? Oh, what were you taping? I, I wasted that. You go ahead, do it again. Well, it's over. It's over. <laughs> look at that great big piece uh, of fruit. Look at that great big piece of fruit. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's Tuesday nights. There was an, an old movie that said, if it's Tuesday, it must be Belgium. But in our house, the house of Marty Getz and Jennifer Yaffe Getz, Tuesday night, if it's Tuesday night, it's the house of worship. This house. Our house, our God, a free country in which we can worship with no fear of knocks at the door. Not yet. Not yet. God bless America. <laughs> God bless our government, our leaders. God bless Israel. God bless the congregation of saints, both those who have gone before, those who are with us now, and those who are to come. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> For Lord, we have come to this house where we love to sing your praises. We lift our hearts and our hands to the King of all the ages. Hear us, Lord, we pray. Come, Yeshua, come. Come fill this place. Meet us here. are strong when you surround us. Meet us here. Meet us here, Lord. As we gather in your name, meet us here. Meet 
foundation of the earth, meaning before the earth was ever even a thought or let's say a, 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 a proposition in God's mind, he had already prepared for you to be here and knowing that you, just as we have done, would fall and fail and falter. Before the foundation of the world, before the foundation of everything, Lord offered up his only son. Amen. In the spirit it was already done. The Lamb of God was slain before the foundation of the world. Isn't that an amazing thing? So there's nothing to fear, is there, honey? No. He took care of it before we were ever born. Yeah. Before we were ever even a thought in our parents' yes. hearts. We were already cared for by the Lord. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Let's sing, why don't we? I have a maker. He formed my heart. Before even time began, 
my life was in his hand. One more time, I like that. I have a maker. He formed my heart. Before even time began, my life was in his hand. And he knows my name.
looks great and goes well. And also we lift up Connie Pence to you, Lord. And I just pray that you would dissolve every tumor in her body, in her stomach. I pray that any nausea she's feeling from the drugs that she's taking would be minimal. But I pray mostly, God, that you would heal her in Jesus' name. Keep her spirits high as they are. Comfort her family who is going through this with her, which is never, ever easy, Lord. I just pray you would pour your spirit on, on that family, Lord, and give them courage and strength in this time of, 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 of stress and trouble, Lord. And we lift up our friend Mickey Robinson to you, God, and pray that the prostate cancer that he has would be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that for Ivy, the, the, the thing in her mouth was benign. Yay. God, I pray for Ivy's mom who's going through uh, d uh, dizziness and, and she's feeling low in her spirits, Lord. Give her peace and heal the dizziness in Yeshua's name. God, there are so many, many needs out there, and you know each one as you know our name, and you formed us, and you're going to take care of each one of us, Lord. No matter what the outcome is, you love us, you take care of us, but we always, always, I always pray for healing, God. Because in the scriptures, in, in Isaiah 13, you said, by your stripes we are healed. And Yeshua used that in the Gospels. And he wasn't talking about spiritual healing when he used that scripture as an example. He was using it alone. Spiritual healing alone. Healing alone. He was using it as physical healing. So God, we always pray and believe by faith that you want to heal us and you can heal us. And we leave the outcome with you, God, but we never stop believing or praying in Yeshua's name. And not to correct you, honey, but it's Isaiah 53. You can always correct Isaiah 53. What did I say? Isaiah 13. Oh, I meant... Who knows what I meant? <laughs> I meant Isaiah 53. But you know what, hon? That. And then, you know, uh, you know, we record these houses of worship. So this, when I say what I'm about to say, it's only for tonight, of course, but... You can always, by the way, for people who have said they haven't been able to watch, you can always go back. These stay up on YouTube and Facebook, but go ahead. Huh? We just want to lift up the city of Memphis and the family of this young lady, Eliza Fletcher, Lord, who was taken from this world by a man who did not know you, and did not know how to be in this world, uh, to be a good man. He Somehow, whatever happened in his life, evil came in, and he visited that evil on this young lady in Memphis. If you never heard, if you didn't hear about it, it was a young lady who went out for a run, was abducted, and... Um, Killed. Yeah. So we just want to lift up She's that. She's a school teacher to kindergartners. But as we do that, Lord, we just lift up our nation. Yes. Our cities. Yes. Whatever city you're in. Yes. We say that Yeshua is Lord over your city. Yes. Yeshua is Lord over Nashville, Tennessee. Yeshua is Lord over the United States of America. Yeshua is Lord over this sin sick world. Hallelujah. Lord God, this world just weeps and cries for all the horror and all the sadness, Lord. So, Lord God, heal us, O oh Lord. Heal our nation, Lord. Save us, O oh Lord. Heal Save our, our nation, nation, Lord. Yes. The earth is groaning. Yes, Lord. Groaning, groaning. And we groan, the Holy Spirit inside us that are too deep to even be heard. Oh, yes, Lord. Heard. Too deep to even be heard. Yes, Lord. Lord. we groan. We groan with your creation. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. For you know our name. You see each tear that falls, you hear our 
trouble anywhere we should never be discouraged cause we take it to our God in prayer can we find a friend so faithful knows our every weakness so take it to your Lord in prayer feel free pray in the spirit Lift up your needs. Lord, he's listening. Thank you, Yeshua. Oh Lord, forgive me for prayerlessness. Forgive me for relying on myself, Lord. For your word says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lead not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, in every way, from night to day, acknowledge him. And he will set you on the path of righteousness. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will make your paths straight. Are we weak and heavy laden? Cumbered with a load of care? Precious Savior, still our refuge. Thank you. 
father's Savior thou hast promised you will all our burdens bear so may we ever Lord be bringing all to you in earnest In glory bright, unclouded, there will be no need for prayer. <laughs> Rapture, praise, and endless worship will be our sweet poor. Like a lark who is 
something right now it's a it's an interesting little project I'm gonna be at the Cove for Christmas so I wanted to have just a, a new little project to have you know for the holiday season and we didn't want to do just a, a Christmas album we're Jewish believers and we love Christmas and we know that yes we know that it's not Yeshua's birthday and we know the roots of it come from, you know, the cultures around that were not Hebraic cultures. We know all of those things. <laughs> but what we love about it is that for all these years, these two Jewish believers have been asked by our Christian friends all over the world to do special things for the holidays. And we've always loved it. Because we love, I remember when I first became a believer, I didn't think that, that I could celebrate that holiday. I never did growing up as a kid. For 25 years of my life, it meant nothing to me, except for pretty songs that you heard at the malls. But when I first became a believer, I remember my friend Annie Alt gave me a hymnal signed by a man named Fred Bach, great uh, worship leader and choral director, arranger, composer. And I was just so thrilled not to be part of a different religion, but to recognize that the whole world, the whole world was singing the praises of a little baby born in Bethlehem who was of the house of David, a little Jewish baby born to descendants of the King David, the Messiah of Israel, born as the King of Israel. <laughs> so that's our spirit in it. It's not that we don't know all the, the historical facts, but one time a year, for whatever, however it came to be, the whole world sings about Yeshua, sings about Jesus. That's my feelings on it. And so we wanted to do a little project to celebrate that season, but we didn't want it to just be all those songs. So it's a, a song, it's an album that has a bunch of different songs on it. It's uh, songs from every season. <laughs> songs by great composers, similar to our album called Songs I Wish I'd Written. And uh, I, I bring that up to tell you to pray for us. It's, we're doing it with Michael W. Smith's son, Tyler, who's only 34 years old, but is a musical genius. And what he's doing to these little songs is just amazing. So pray for us that we would get it done and it would be a beautiful, just a beautiful collection of songs for people to listen to in any season. But in this season, we got a request and I don't know from whom the request hunt came. Do you remember? No. But we got a request. The reason I opened up playing that sound of music is because they asked for this song from that, from that show. And one thing I love about this song, Jenny told me that it was really the last song that 
Oscar Hammerstein would write with, with Richard Rogers. Isn't that amazing? And I love it because the flowers being sung about in this song represents to the singer and the writer a nation. A nation that was just about to be overtaken by a malevolent and malignant force of Nazism. And you know what? I don't know how close we are to that in our country. Some people think we're very close. I don't know. But I do love this little song because it's almost like a little prayer. It's like a prayer saying, Lord, take notice of us. Take notice of us. For consider the lilies of the field, <laughs> how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, and yet your heavenly Father, they, they neither toil nor spin, and yet they are more beautiful, so beautiful. God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. Will he not much more watch over you? The God who makes the beautiful flower <laughs> can certainly watch over us and our nation. You know this song? Jenny sang it with me earlier. You want to sing it with me? Okay. Hallelujah. 
anti-Semitism rises up in this country or anti-Christianism rises up in this country and I need a place to hide people. I need a place to care for people and to protect them. Maybe they're going to have to go somewhere else. Maybe they're going to have to find refuge somewhere. That's what happened as this song was being sung. A family was fleeing the Nazi menace. It's a true story. There's some fictional things in the musical to make it more dramatic, but it's pretty much the story. We even met one of the Von Trapp children years ago at our friend Billy Ann's house. Who knows if that's going to happen? Who knows if somebody's not going to have to be there, someone with a bigger voice than mine, <laughs> to be able to encourage the people, 
say something like this. Climb every mountain. Search high and low. Follow every byway. Every path you know. Climb every mountain. Ford every stream. Follow every rainbow. Till you find your dream. A dream that will need all the love you can give every day of your life or as long as you live climb every mountain for every stream follow every Died upon a tree, Lamb 
of God you were a sacrifice for me and now I can praise you all my days for through you I am of God Lamb of God and now I can praise you I am 
long time ago. We we're looking through our request lists <laughs> and I have so much to learn. You guys are teaching me a lot of things I didn't know. <laughs> I've been playing my songs almost every week for 30 years in one place or another. And it's this season of life I'm learning all kinds of new songs, hymns and things like that. I've known them. Like this one, I know this one, but I'm gonna cheat on my iPad. If you see my eyes looking down, because I don't know the words by heart, I should. But why don't you sing it if you know this song with me? All to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live Oh to Jesus I surrender all to you I freely give I will ever love and trust you in your presence daily live I surrender all I surrender I surrender all, I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender humbly. At his feet I bow, worldly pleasures are forsaken. Take me, Jesus, take me now, for I surrender all, I surrender kind of dangerous. <laughs> do you hold us to our words when we sing these songs? I think you do. Humbly at your feet I bow, worldly pleasures all forsaken. Take me, Yeshua. <laughs> Take me now. Well, only you know, Lord, what there is in my life that needs to be surrendered. I know some of the things but you know all of the things. And this seems to be the season, Lord. Boy, this seems to be the, se the, se the season for judgment, we've heard, begins at the house of God. God, make us willing. God, make us, make us ready and prepared. Or as I like to say, prepared. <laughs> make us prepared for everything that's going to come our way, Lord. All to Jesus I surrender. Make me Savior holy thine. Let me feel the Holy Spirit. Truly know that thou art mine. For I surrender I surrender all 
fill me with your love and power. Let thy blessing fall on me. All to Jesus I surrender, Lord. I give my Today was his first day. And pray for Misha as she concludes and finishes her album. Beautiful album. You have got to have this album. This is a must-have recording. You can go to our website. You can go to It's Misha Music or just Misha. It's, it's not out yet. It's not out yet, but you can pre-order, I think, right? I don't, I don't even know. Don't take me at those know. words. Just just wait till Friday. Misha will tell you about it. <laughs> In the meantime, join us Friday. Thank you for, we just received some beautiful gifts from some of you this week. And we so thank you. Letters, notes, cards. And those are just wonderful, your prayers. And then some of you send us uh, financial gifts, which Lord have mercy, we are so grateful for. But we're grateful for everything. We're grateful if you never send a, a cent. We're, we're grateful, grateful that, you, that you are joining us in our house. It's an honor to have you in our house of worship and to be in our family and our little, what do you call it, a little flock. <laughs> and then our mishpucha, which means family in Hebrew, mishpucha. So, yibarechacha, Adonai v'yishmarecha. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give to you his peace, his shalom. Yeshua, I surrender now. I feel the sacred flame. Oh, the joy of full salvation, glory, glory to your name. I surrender. Oh, I surrender. 
Yeah. <laughs>